Coming up, a ZNS News exclusive. Two missing fishermen found. A broken boat miles away from home. Just one station with the story. An accused murderer heads to court pleading for leniency. And the sports showdown, stretching for the snappers, the trash talk, and the battle lines are drawn. Who are you pulling for? Find out who wins the Bahamas tonight. The National Report starts now. Now in HD. Network presents The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news brought to you by BTC Every Day. It's back home for the Michigan Fisherman. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Saunders. Their boat had a hole in it. The current worked against them, and they just had just a small bit of water. But the Winder Cousins have survived being stranded at sea. It was the happy ending the Berry Islands community was praying for. Keisha Adley tonight has reaction to the good news in this ZNS News exclusive. Since Saturday, relatives of cousins 26-year-old Leslie Winder and 24-year-old Dwayne Winder have been living what you may call a three-day-long nightmare. Yeah, I haven't seen him from um, Thursday when he came for work with me. For three days and nights, they hadn't seen the routine fishermen or their bone fishing skiff. Police, accompanied by persons from the community and their private vessels, and again, um, private aircraft yesterday, um, but we were unable to locate those men near their vessel. Local boat searches spanned the berries through to Bimini with no success. But around 9 o'clock Monday night, fortunes would change. As fate would have it, Florida boaters Robert and Ellen Fishman, who themselves left the Berry Islands on Monday with knowledge of the missing men, would make the encounter the Winder cousins were praying for. We were leaving the Dumas and Chris Parker reported on the morning net that we listened to every morning that there were two young fishermen uh, who had been adrift from the, he thought, the Berry Islands. But uh, when Chris calculated the, the drift and so forth, uh, said that very well could be that they would show up on the bank. I heard, I heard uh, yelling, uh, frantic yelling, and uh, I, I looked out and uh, I didn't see anything, but I knew that I knew what it was because we already heard all about these young guys being missing. The young men were tired and thirsty, but okay. They spent most of the day awaiting clearance in West Palm Beach, Florida, and they had quite a story to tell. You know, we were paddling, but the way we were paddling, the current keeps pushing us out. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't have gone, go the way to get home, but the current keeps pushing us the next way. And a guy from who, who, who boat is the one, or white guy, we asked him for a ride, but he didn't give us a ride. He said to call out, but he, he told us we really needed some help. We had some sharks falling us for a little bit. We had to throw gas in the water. We had to throw gas in the water to run them off a little bit. Patricia Rowe says she got up this morning with a good feeling after days of prayer. Then came the moment better. that she'd waited for for 36 hours. Hello. Hello. Leslie, you know yeah, what I said? What I said, I waited to see you. Did you remember me off out of prayer? That was very good. Now you see how good God is? Okay then. All right. Hey, how's everything? Okay. You're feeling good and everything? Okay. Uh, nice hearing from you, boy. You know, you know, I train you good, so that's why. You the Winder cousin spent most of the day in Florida awaiting processing. It's not certain when they'll return home, but when they do, the young men who were familiar with the water say they won't look at it quite the same ever again. Keishla Adderley, ZNS Network News.
All right, Keisla, thanks a lot. News from the courts now. Accused murderer Donna Vasily continued her fight to be released on bail when she appeared at the appellate court today. She's appealing the ruling of Senior Justice Stephen Isaacs in which her, he refused her bail after concluding, among other things, that she is a flight risk. However, during today's proceedings, Vasily's attorney, Mario DeSeal, argued that S Justice Stephen Isaacs' decision is unreasonable as he arrived at certain conclusions without any evidence to support it. The seal also contended that the judge did not focus on the stringent bail conditions proposed in order to alleviate the fear of her bolting the jurisdiction. However, Crown Prosecutor Neil Brathwaite disagreed and argued that the judge's decision is reasonable and should be upheld. This is the second time that Senior Justice Stephen Isaacs has refused to grant Vasily bail. Meantime, after hearing from both sides, the panel of the court president, Justice Anita Allen, Justice Abdullah Conte, and Justice John Isaacs adjourned the decision to Friday, May 22nd. Donna Vasily, who's accused of killing her husband, noted podiatrist Philip Vasily, remains behind bars. A 31-year-old man is in custody in connection with the stabbing death of a man on Potter's Key Dock today. According to police reports, it was shortly after 1.30 when two men were involved in an argument, resulting in one of them stabbing the other to the chest. The victim was rushed to the hospital by private vehicle where he died from his injuries. While police have not identified the victim, dock vendors say he's a, residence of, a resident of Kemp Road who goes by the name Henny. We talked to Tico Smith who says Henny was a friend. And, and all different ways when you hang on you no he wears. He does his PO does making us with the boy stuff and everything, but I never see him with no no teeth and no robbing or no raping or you know. While investigations continue, there may be some concern over violent incidents taking place at the popular local eatery. Vendor Uncle Tellis has a stall two doors down from where the incident allegedly took place. He says the culprit should be to blame and not the community at large. In the day Pusky Dock is still a nice place to be. There, these guys are just angry with themselves. It's nothing to do with nobody else on Pusky Dock. You know, and people keep saying, you know, Pusky Dock is not a nice place to go. I don't think so. It is a nice place to be because you do have some nice people come out here. Detectives from the Capitol are in Andrus tonight investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of a man there. Details are really sketchy at this time, but we can tell you that the victim was found around 2 this afternoon in the Driggs Hill area. Investigations are underway. Coming up, teachers at one school honored. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, The National Report. This portion of the news is brought to you by the new Shell and Letter, designed for extra miles.